Okay guys, this is Ken from Blacko Gaming and now I've had Xbox problems and I think I know how to fix it so we'll see what happens basically when I switch my Xbox on it either keeps on rebooting and it won't load the dashboard and I'll give you a quick example of what's going on so I'm loading it up Xbox controller gets stuck like that then switches off now it's switched off my Xbox is on, no con things connected to it on screen, no signal and then I'm in uh, you can't see but I have my HDMI cable plugged in my wireless is, my uh, wireless adapter light keeps flashing so you know it's a major problem you can't get onto it I'll show you that I'm actually on HDMI as well there we go HDMI it's not on anything else so if I go to Scott this pops up go into PC This pops up if we're going to component. This pops up, you know, it's it's the same on everything. S video. Ugh. I had my header reach disc in there as well. I mean, luckily that's not scratched up or anything, so. I've gone to TV. Nothing there. So yeah, it's basically like not showing up. Oh, uh, this is how to fix it. Okay, one sec. Okay, so switch your Xbox off. And what you want to do if you're using memory unit as a main hard drive, you take that out. So if you have a memory unit down in here. You take all that out, your main hard drive needs to be unplugged, I have a hard drive over here, so I'll unplug that, like something like a memory stick that I have in there, take that out. The only thing that needs to be plugged in is like a wireless adapter if you have a HDMI cable, and a control if you have one. Everything else needs to get unplugged, um, this is going to be a bit of a problem trying to get out my hard drive one handed, oh not really, it's out. Here's my hard drive, it's not modded or anything, standard 120GB hard drive. You know, I bought from Xbox. Place it over there, and then, now, restart your Xbox with your control. Make sure you restart it with your control. And then, um, see if this works. Here we go, something's happening. See it's loading up, loaded up my dashboard. Then it comes on to here, yay. So now my controller's connected also, my Xbox is now running. Now all you need to do is, uh, You know, you can just plug in your hard drive or switch it back off. Plug your hard drive back in or your memory unit, either one. Snap that back in. There we go, it's all done properly. Switch it back on with your control. That part is crucial. And there we go. It's all now loading, yay. I'm running on the latest dashboard as well. If there is a uh, something new going on, then I don't know about it, but I'll sure find out. And just to prove that it runs game as well, um, I'm gonna get my Hello Reach disc. Here we go. So it's not a new disc, but it's not really all that scratched either. I've logged on to Xbox Live, got my friends. 
show that the everything's working out fine. Hello, reach disk in. Close. Reading the disk. And then you can play the game. Just to show that it actually loads up your disk now. And not gives you no error messages. I actually just found this solution out. There we go, it's loading up Halo Reach. I'll wait until it goes dum 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 Then I'll end it. There we go. Skip this, main menu, here we go, it's all completely loading up. Everything's great, TKG for the win, yeah. And yeah, you will have all your arcade games and everything. This has been uh, Keenan from Black Up Gaming, make sure that you please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, help the channel out really well, and this is definitely going up on YouTube, yeah, woo.